Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the games that got me to 2,420 medals or rating an Ultimate Champion. Rank 666, so the devil's number right now. It was actually 661 at the time, but obviously decayed a bit in the last 10 minutes or so. But yeah, I was able to do this with Queen Bow, which in my opinion is the best Expo Cycle deck in Clash Royale right now. Because we have the Rocket and the Queen, as well as the Cannon. Cannon is just a much better version of Tesla right now, except for against Air Decks. Queen is obviously one of the best cards in the entire game, and Rocket Rocket is an alternate win condition in the event that you're unable to get an expo connection, so I feel like this is the best deck overall. Also, if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I am going for 20,000 subscribers right now, that's my next goal, and I'll probably be releasing my, or starting to work on at least, my ultimate expo placements guide as my 20,000 subscriber special. So, all that being said, let's get right into the matches, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, so we found our first match against Natan. I'm currently 2275 medals, about top 1.3k in the world. Playing with Queen Bow Cannon, I feel like this is probably the best Expo Cycle deck in Clash Royale right now. And I'm not even trying to clickbait or anything, I genuinely believe it is, because I've been experimenting with so many different Expo versions recently. Like, I actually tilted for quite a while, for pretty much the entirety of the day yesterday. And it was actually pretty frustrating, I did not have much time to play, so I just stopped playing. But, uh, gonna go for an Expo right now, because we do have a Knight counter pushing, and it is is looking like log bait of some sort after seeing the barrel so yeah it goes for the prince gonna pop queen ability sadly rascals will probably take my expo out yeah they do a pretty good job but back to my other point i do believe this is the best version because i experimented with literally every single version i played this version with valk and ice spirit i played with knight and tesla i played with fireball queen uh tesla i just played with pretty much every version i even played with 3.0 and untilted a bit i've played like all the expo versions at least except for ice bow because i'm not really an ice bow player i could try it out though but uh basically i feel like this is probably the best one for a few reasons. Number one, I think that Knight being in the deck is significantly better than Valk in a lot of situations because it is a cheaper cycle. I'm gonna log right now because it should be a pretty big connection because he should be low on Elixir after going Princess, Ghost plus Goblin Gang. Yeah, he doesn't have enough for Rascals right away, so really nice stuff there. Just gonna let the Expo die so I can take the Rascals out on my side. If I did just kind of overcommit to them at the bridge, I would have just been down Elixir and they still would have been defended. Also, there's the optimal placement you can use with Esprit plus Skeletons to full counter Goblin Barrel, if you guys didn't know, really useful, and that's why Esprit's actually really clutch. I actually have experimented, and so... I talked to Ian, one of my friends, uh, you guys probably know him on his YouTube channel, and he said that Ice Spirit is probably better than Electric Spirit because uh, it's just so much better at top ladder in terms of the freeze duration and defense, but I actually found since I'm kind of in the lower ladder range right now, you know, above top 1k, I'm getting a lot of crazy decks, not really the top 200 meta, which Ian is probably used to, which makes sense. I'm also going to try and commit to this expo because he should be quite low on Elixir. Uh, I think I want a cannon for the Ghost if I can get it down in time. Sadly, cannon does not really pull as well as a Tesla would, but uh, yeah, I was back to what I was saying about Ian. I feel like um, his advice is probably true for top ladder, but at my range, I was playing against a ton of Golem, Night Witch, a ton of bats, not much clone, but still just a ton of bats in Graveyard, and Ice Spirit wasn't doing me any favors in any of those matchups. You know, Night Witch is very hard to defend with an Electro Spirit as possible, but it's difficult, and then uh, Graveyard is obviously still a pretty good matchup for Expo, but way better if you do have the Esprit in there just to help out against some lone skeletons here and there in the graveyard. Um, again, just gonna let this go. Gonna Esprit in the back, and he actually goes in the right. Okay, that was actually pretty well played. I kind of overcommitted a lot to the left because I thought he would go in, but makes sense. I'm gonna have to try and make a connection happen right now because I'm actually down quite a lot of elixir, unfortunately. Gonna pop my queen ability, which should do pretty good. And then he goes Prince. I'm gonna cannon Skellies. Skellies for the charge, can just DPS down. And this should be an okay situation. If he goes Rascals, I can log them ASAP. And then E Spirit and Knight to predict the Goblin Gang. Or rather, Knight and then E Spirit after. Because uh, I wanted. I knew he was gonna go Goblin Gang, so I just wanted to get something down. That's gonna be a nice lock. I'm gonna go Queen the Bridge as well, because he should be very low on Elixir. And if he goes for a Barrel, he's pretty much gonna lose to the Queen. Okay, so he does go for the Barrel later. I'm gonna Skelly cycle back to my log. Okay, I didn't get it down in time. I actually did hover clicking it, but it didn't come down. But that's still gonna be one Queen hit. That's gonna be so that's going to be GG. I'm just going to take the rocket. So that game was a little too close for comfort, but we still do take that win. My opponent is upset. I'm just going to say thanks because he was like laughing a lot. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really like going against log bait much, but this is also really decent against log bait because night, fast cycle, rocket. But yeah, nice win just above top 1k now. Alright guys, getting into the next game against this Chinese player. Let's see what he's going to be running. So, again, I feel like this is probably better than other versions. The only downside that I can think of that I've actually experienced firsthand is against air-heavy decks. You know, Lava Hound is very tough for this deck because you don't have a Tesla, don't have a Fireball. Rocket is usually worse against, you know, Flying Machine, Skeleton Dragons, Lava Pups. And Cannon is obviously useless against 
pretty much every single air support unit and even useless against the lava hound it's only somewhat useful against the balloon by itself but okay do you see the queen plus rocket so this could be an expo mirror match i actually hope it isn't because i'm honestly pretty bad at the queen bow mirror i actually have to learn that um which i might i asked aragon if we could practice sometime so i hope i can get better at it because i'm really bad at the queen bow mirror match i'm really good at the 3.0 mirror match at least i think i am okay at it but queen bow i don't play this deck very much like i main 3.0 so I uh, don't really know that matchup very well, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to log, and he goes Golem. Okay, interesting. I'm actually not going to go for an Expo because I know he has a Queen in the deck, and Queen is a very good Expo counter. If, say, he's back to a Queen somehow, or gets back to one and goes Queen on the Expo, lets it lock on, I'll probably lose because I can't defend all of that. So just going to defend uh, fully here. And this is what I was talking about. Esprit is just so helpful. We are against Golem Night Witch right now, so I can just go Esprit for the four bats. I like to wait for the second wave to spawn, and then just Queen on the Night Witch, and this should be a pretty solid situation overall. I feel like uh, this is going to be tough. You know, Gol I don't know why he's a Queen, actually. That's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, this should be okay. Queen's going to force response out, and then it will take the Baby Dragon out if I pop ability. And I can probably go for an Expo because he's going to be forced to respond to this Queen, so I'm definitely going to go for an Expo predicting any kind of response because, yeah, he does go NATO. That's enough. Got a Knight to predict the Queen, and oh, he has a Rocket. What? I'm going to go Skeletons at the bridge because he should be very low on Elixir, actually, since he just went Rocket last second and NATO. That's 9 Elixir. Yeah, I go Zap, so that's going to be some nice Knight damage. Also going to go E Spirit, maybe get one more Knight hit, and I think that is going to actually get us one more Knight hit. Nice, so really good punish there. Really solid. That's something I love to do with Expo. It's not really an Expo type thing, but rather an Elixir counting thing, where if you know they own Elixir, you can just punish with the Knight and support troops at the bridge and just get some really nice damage coming in, so does go for a golem on the expo gonna go cannon and rocket is obviously very annoying he can rocket every single expo he can rocket my queen he can rocket cycle me but it's really useless against cannon because cannon is like the cheapest possible building that's good against golem and rocket is obviously very low radius so it doesn't really hit much so cannon is actually like the perfect uh, building against a rocket deck if you have like a golem or a hog um gonna skeleton break the queen he just goes for a rocket again so i can probably just cycle two rockets at this point myself uh, Queen is going to get some damage too, not that it really matters, but yeah, I can honestly just cycle two rockets here, I think. I'm trying to be more confident in my rocket cycle as well, because I feel like I'm definitely more of a 3 0 player, so I like getting expo locks, but with Queen Bow, a big part of the strategy is definitely just, you know, going into rocket cycle at the end when the game is all secured, so I'm definitely going to try and, you know, relearn some spell values and just... It'll help me get more optimal with my spell cycling at the end, but that's a really nice win against Golem. Really clean punish in single, honestly. I was pretty proud of that one with the Knight, and it's got a lot of damage, so that should put me in the top 1k, or very close to it anyways. Okay, 957, not bad at all. Getting up there, I think I want to go for a few more, though, just to get even higher. Alright guys, we found our game against My Hero Loves Millie. Let's see what he's going to be running here. Going to go East Spirit the Bridge for his play. In terms of starting plays with this deck, I feel like East Spirit is a very solid one because, yeah, he does go Ghost Activate King. Activating King Tower matters absolutely none. Uh, I don't think that really made sense, but it doesn't matter at all, basically, uh, against Expo, obviously, because you don't really have anything they would want the king up against, except for maybe that Knight Punish I did, but obviously that's a niche situation. Um, and you can just find out more about their deck since they do usually like to get the king activation, so it's a really nice first play. I feel like it's probably the best one with this deck, and then Log is probably the next best one. Um, we just see a Marcher, so this is probably going to be P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. Going to pop my ability. Yeah, it does go P.E.K.K.A. Going to go Cannon as well, just to start DPSing down this P.E.K.K.A. as early as possible. And now, he might go a Ram opposite once the Cannon dies, because uh, I'm not really going to be able to defend it that easily. Yeah, he does actually. Just going to go Knight Esprit, though, which should be fine. I'll take some Marcher Chip, too, but I can probably Expo with this Knight, actually, because Knight will do pretty good. And he's definitely not back to P.E.K.K.A., and he might even be lower on Elixir right now, so this should be pretty good. Knight should walk in front. Goes e -Wiz. Okay, I'm going to log the e -Wiz back. And then Skeletons 2 for the Bandit, and this should be a lock maybe, unless he goes Zap, which he could. Yeah, he does go Zap. Okay, so well played Zap. That's going to prevent that damage from coming in, so... Still a pretty decent start, and honestly, I think it's a really good matchup. He does have the Marcher, which is a bit annoying, but... I actually feel like, I don't know, I don't have a Fireball for the Marcher, but minions are actually super annoying for Queen Bow, because especially this version, I only have Queen and Esprit to counter minions. You can never really rocket minions. Ken is useless against minions compared to Tesla. That's like one very fringe scenario where you would rather have the Tesla over the cannon against minions like Pekka Bridge Bam. Um, but Marcher, I feel like as long as you can manage it, it's fine. Gonna rocket the Ghost. This is a bit aggressive, but I just kind of feel like it, honestly. I don't know. Just getting into the rocket cycle groove. Goes for a Marcher. Gonna pop my ability, and he is not gonna be able to take the Queen out with the Marcher. He has to go for a Ram. Gonna e in the perfect placement for the Marcher. Then log the E, or log the Marcher back, rather, so I can get a perfect counter on it. No Marcher damage there. And then Knight will do pretty good at cleaning up. And don't even have to worry about a Marcher sniping this Knight because he just used it. He's not back to one. 
I could go for an expo right now, but uh, my cycle isn't the best. Goes Pekka, just gonna defend, I think. Because um, if he went Pekka on my expo, I'd rather have a queen in cycle so I can maybe DPS it down. Gonna queen off to the side and then maybe try and ghost or skeleton surround on the ghost rather. And then knight as well for the ghost. And Ken is definitely gonna die. I have to get back to a second one. But this is the beauty of Queen Bow. When you have the three card cycle with the queen and you have such elixir efficient cards such as the cannon and your cycle cards and knight, like not even Valk, everything is so cheap. You can cycle to multiple things so easily. It's actually great. Gonna go for ability plus log. Okay, sadly the ability didn't really do anything. Queen died. I think if I got it down earlier, it would have been better, but gonna skeletons for the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, he does go Ewis, so I have to let this go now. Gonna go Queen and just sacrifice the Expo, because I want to defend this. Gonna pop my Queen ability as well. He goes for the Fireball, so this should still be fine, I think. Oh, he goes for Zap. Okay, I was not expecting that, actually. That's pretty bad, because, I mean, I took a P.E.K.K.A. hit to the face, so I'm gonna have to come back from that now, because I'm down. Gonna Expo in the left, predicting some kind of response on my Knight in the right. He goes Ram, gonna Cannon, and he's probably back to P.E.K.K.A. at this point, but hopefully I can get a small lock. Okay, no, never mind. And I'm still going to try, but yeah, honestly, that was not ideal. But I can maybe get back to a second expo in the right here in a second, because uh, he's committing quite a lot to my expo in the left. I think I can probably go in, uh, and he can fireball my expo plus tower, but they should be fine. Got a knight to predict the bandit. He does go for a bandit nice, so they should be pretty solid. Got a cannon as well, and then he goes marcher. Just going to log that all back, and this should be a small lock. He's definitely going to fireball, I think, but still, you know, we do get some damage back, and at this point... I feel like since we're going same lane, I should probably just rocket cycle. Like, again, I like to play this uh, expo in general pretty aggressively. At least recently, I've tried to change my playstyle up a bit. But with Queenbow, you definitely do have to know when to pick your spots and just play defensively. And I feel like this is one of those situations. Because if I go in in the left, he'll just defend it pretty easily and probably get a counter push. If I go in in the right, it'll obviously not go do anything because he's going in in the right himself. So I think it's just, you know, defensive expo and... Uh, spell cycle. I've actually been really trying to change my playstyle a bit to be very optimal recently because I feel like, you know, it just helps instead of when I'm actually thinking pretty hard about everything I'm doing and trying to make the best possible play in each scenario. It's much better than just doing random stuff and tilting sometimes, so it's been going pretty well, but yeah, I feel like I definitely have to change my natural playstyle. For example, going too aggressive if I do want to win with this deck, so just doing that right now. Gonna cannon anti-fireball placement, log the ram into the cannon just to make sure Esprit and get back to another knight to protect this cannon because I feel like a big part of this deck is protecting your cannon. It's only three elixir, but it gets infinite elixir value if you do to protect it well. That's why I feel like cannon is just so broken right now, honestly. Uh, to the point where obviously expo decks aren't even using Tessa, they're literally using cannon. Anyway, Marcher might get some damage. Okay, Esprit didn't get down in time. I'm gonna have to knight for the Marcher, and then I think I have to rocket it because. He's probably going to fireball me back. Going to log the Ewas back. Not going to log the tower because I'd rather take the Ewas out. And then that's going to be GG. Very nice win. So again, I did have to play passively there. I don't always like to play that passively. But I feel like it was kind of necessary in that situation. Considering there wouldn't have really been much of a point in going in. So yeah, pretty nice stuff there. And nice win against Pekka Bridge Bam. Not the best play. I guess I should have anticipated the fireball zap on my queen. So he got a nice Pekka hit for, the, for that. But still going to be top 800 pretty much. Really nice stuff there. Alright guys, into the next match against a Japanese player. Let's see what he's going to be running and hopefully can get some more nice wins. I think I want to go for 2400 if I can. Goes for a minor. Going to go for a queen. This will actually retarget the minor onto the queen if you guys didn't know. If you play uh, anything like right... I don't really know how to describe that phenomenon, but basically you can retarget a minor in the front. I think you can even retarget it uh, if it's not in the front sometimes. I don't know how it works. Going to pop queen ability. And I just went Expo because, you know, Queen plus Expo, dual lane pressure. I actually made a video, Queen Bow Fundamentals, on that. So, yeah, I just wanted to get a gist of what he was playing. And I guess he's playing Minor Rocket with Queen. Yeah, it goes Goblin Skeletons with full counter those. So this is a new emerging Minor deck. I think Nate has been playing this one, too. Um, it's pretty interesting, I guess. I mean, Queen is obviously more annoying than the Dark Prince. Dark Prince is, like, pretty useless against Expo. Um, and obviously it facilitates a three-card cycle, which isn't going to be great to go against, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think I might go for Expo with this Knight, because I can just force a Rocket out, and he goes for a Queen, so... Yeah, he should be low on Elixir. He actually is probably gonna have to go Bomb Tower here, because he's not high enough for a Rocket. It's gonna cannon to break the Bomb Tower. We do get it down in time perfect, so I can actually probably get a small lock here. Gonna log the Queen back as well, try and get the most out of this connection, and that's definitely gonna be a lock right there. Gonna Skeletons for the Ice Spirit. Goes Goblin instead, that's fine. Gonna E Spirit too. Sadly, one Goblin does take my Expo out, but you get a fair amount of chips, so... Pretty good stuff overall. 
And I'm probably down Elixir because I committed quite a lot to that expo, but I feel like it was worth it just to get that damage. You know, 500 damage lead coming in right now and doing pretty well, all things considered. So, yeah, pretty good start here. And uh, he does have a rocket, so I can pretty much never go queen the back and the left unless I want to bait one out. Then I go, like, queen the back and the right, and maybe he'll rocket that, but he probably won't knowing him. So I have to go queen up high because I can never give him rocket value on my tower. Very important there. Going to go for an expo once the queen walks up a bit because I feel like he's not playing anything. He's probably down Elixir. Um, and I don't know how he's going to defend this, actually. Yeah, I think he just gave up, actually, I guess. Yeah, that's interesting, but, I mean, kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, I mean, actually, he was only down 500, so I don't really know why he gave up, but I guess he did not want to play this matchup. I feel like it's probably slightly my matchup. I mean, he does have the... I think he has a delivery in here, and then he has the queen plus uh, rocket for my expos, but... At the same time, I do have really cheap defense with a knight with the cannon, as opposed to having Valk Tesla, which both are, I'd say, are worse against this matchup, because cannon is just very good for three elixir, as you saw, and then Valk is obviously just a worse knight when it comes to defending, because it's just one more elixir. No real added value in this matchup, but really nice win there against uh, Minor Controller. It's going to give him a good game. I guess it feels bad that he gave up that early on, but I'll take the three crown, I guess, and that should put me pretty much top 700, I think. Yeah, 760, so I'm going to go for one more. Hopefully, I can get a nice win, and I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys, we finally found a game against Nami here. One away from 2,400, actually. Uh, eight medals away, unfortunately, but I actually think I've played against this guy before. I think he's playing Balloon Cycle. If that is the case, that is really bad, because this is a terrible matchup. I don't want to go into the match already saying, oh, it's a terrible match, I'm going to lose, but... I mean, the facts are the facts. Yeah, he goes Ice Golem, so it probably is going to be Loon Cycle. So this is just a really bad matchup, because obviously I have a Cannon, not a Tesla. If I had a Tesla, I think it would actually definitely be my matchup, but with Cannon, you just can't really defend Balloons that well, so you have to go Rocket for the Balloon, or Queen. And if you go Rocket, then they can go Minor with the Balloon, and actually still won't fully counter. Okay, go Snowball to push my Queen. I'm actually going to go for an Expo, because that was a bit of an aggressive play. Going to go Ability, and then Skeletons. If you can Bomb Tower, uh, like, in front of my Expo, you would have lost. So pretty good player, because he knows that... He had to go low bomb tower, gonna cannon to snipe the ice golem, and... Oh, he actually goes musky, I was not expecting that at all. I thought he would go, like, minor on my expo, so... I guess that was pretty well played, um, but really useless cannon there. I was really hoping, you know, it could maybe get value against the minor too, or against the... Yeah, minor on the expo. I'm gonna e-spirit for the minor, I guess. I just have to avoid as much ship as I can, but yeah, he's already gonna get some damage. So I feel like I'm really thinking again about playing optimally, so I feel like in this matchup, I have to be pretty aggressive with expos, because I cannot really afford to rocket cycle, considering... How am I going to outdamage the miners? Like, Rocket Cycle will not outdamage miners' balloons, or minor balloon pushes if I have a cannon, not a Tesla. I can't really defend, so I have to play aggressive, I feel like, but at the same time, it's going to be tough, because, I mean, how can I even break through? He has Ice Golem, Barb Barrel, Snowball, Bomb Tower, Musketeer, Miner, which are all pretty solid in conjunction with each other to defend an Expo, and then also you can just go Balloon on the Expo. That's a very easy counter, so, yeah, kind of annoying, but we'll see. I might go for an Expo opposite lane here, because Queen's first response, I was going to go Expo and actually Knight to predict the Bomb Tower right away, because I think he's, yeah, he goes Minor, definitely should go Bomb Tower, and he does, so this should actually be a lock if I play this right, going to E-Spirit Skelly's for the Bar Barrel, because I don't want to commit to the Minor, he's back to an Ice Golem, and this is what I mean, okay, I think he's going to get bailed out by a Double Elixir, unfortunately, going to log the Ice Golem back, yeah, it's actually so unlucky, because I feel like he definitely deserved to get punished for that, I mean, I had a pretty good push going i even ignored a miner to get you know the elixir advantage for that push but obviously he just has a very easy time defending expos ice golem stalls i did the math by the way ice golem stalls 29 percent of an expos hp so it's very annoying for only two elixir super high value obviously um and yeah here it is again ice golem i'm gonna e-spirit plus skeletons log on the miner he's back to a bar barrel though so that is going to be still easily defended as you can see like this is just impossible to break through i'm still gonna try though because i don't have a choice if i play defensively i'm gonna lose 100 percent if i don't have anything okay also 7-4 told me this play knight the back is pretty good in this matchup because it's just kind of a wait and see play where it forces them to play into you and maybe you can fix your cycle so i'm gonna try that out here and i'm gonna go for an expo with this knight the back kind of set up for the expo push with the knight the back like a while ago i guess you can think about it that way good night to catch the barb barrel and Bloom's going to take the expo out. I want a cannon, not queen, because I don't want to mess my cycle up. But yeah, as you can see, it's impossible to get a lock. But going to log to break the skeletons on the knight. Esprit as well. That should actually help the knight get some hits on the tower. Go snowball. And I should get one hit, I think. Yeah, nice one hit there. So I'll take it, but I'm still down 1k. Going to still try and break through here, though. Does go for a bomb tower down low. Going to queen the bridge. Not really predicting the uh, bomb tower anymore, because he's just going to go for it down low. He knows I'm probably going to waste a prediction. Gonna pop ability plus log. Oh, Expo's on tower. Oh my god, wait, I have to defend this because 
if you get a lock and a hard counter, I always say this, but if you get a lock and a hard counter, you have to defend it with everything you have, because you're probably not going to get one again. And I'm going to go for a knight on this musky and then expo once more, because this should be a really solid uh, push. He doesn't have his ice golem or musky in cycle, so he has, like, bomb tower. Actually, he is back to... Wow, that's annoying. He's actually back to an ice golem, but... Goes for a minor gun of skeletons plus log. Queen for the bar barrel, and then I might get a sm another small lock here if I played that right. Okay, really nice defense of his uh, push, of his defense rather. Really nice defense of mine, of his defense of my expo, if that even makes sense. But yeah, really nice stuff. That's going to be GG's. Really, really nice win against a definite hard counter. I think that's definitely a bad matchup because I have cannon, not Tesla. But I think I played it really well, to be honest. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I'm actually really happy because I never beat that matchup. I hate that matchup. But we'll take that. 2400 and rank 661 global. Really, really nice stuff. And really nice games with Queenbow today. Definitely happy I untilt because I was, like, stuck at 2100 for a while. But yeah, that's really nice stuff. That's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.